Hey Martin, how's it going? Hey Abby. Well, I'm having a European wine party with a group of friends soon, and we each want to buy a vintage wine from a small wine store in Paris. The website shows how many euros it is, but it doesn't convert to US dollars. You know, I think we could build you a new tool with Python that will save you and your friends some conversion time. I'll show you how. Python is one of the most popular programming languages and growing. It's well suited for a number of use cases, including web applications, machine learning, and big data. Cloud Run lets you use any runtime you want, making it easy to deploy Python in a serverless way. Cloud Run is also fully managed, meaning you don't have to worry about infrastructure scaling if your service starts getting a ton of traffic. That sounds awesome. Uh, do I have to change my Python code to get it to run on Cloud Run? If you have an existing stateless Python app, all you need to do is add one file to deploy a service to Cloud Run. No code changes needed. We like to use Flask for small services like this because it's a lightweight framework that's easy to set up. Our service has the basics, an HTML file where we create a form to get user input, a simple CSS file, and an app.py file where we set routes and define functions. OK, that looks exactly like the web apps I've built before. Uh, what is that extra file I need for Cloud Run? The last file we need to define is the Docker file. This allows us to customize the runtime of our container to suit our needs exactly. Containers are a way to isolate our application to make it run the same no matter where it's deployed. When creating a Docker file, we first need to specify a base Docker image with the from command. This is where we set our Python runtime. The copy command adds files from your Docker client's current directory. The run command installs Flask, GUnicorn, and currency converter dependencies for our service. And finally, CMD is the command to start our application inside the container and binds it to a port. The app app at the end means import our app from the app.py file. What if I want to use a different version of Python? One of the advantages of Cloud Run is that you can run any Python version you want as long as there is a base Docker image available for it. I can even use the newest version of Python, version 3.8, if I want to. Now that we have our Docker file, we can build our container with Cloud Build. This bundles up our code, along with everything we've added in our Docker file, and pushes it to the container registry, a place to store container images. And finally, we deploy the service to Cloud Run. It only takes two commands to get this service out to the world. In our terminal, we first build the container using the builds command. And then we deploy the service using the container image we just built. If we check out the Cloud Run section of Google Cloud Console, we now see our Cloud Run service. If we click the service, we can see important info like metrics and the URL of our service. We can also redirect or split user traffic to previous revisions if we discover our latest revision has a breaking change. Wow, this sounds great. Uh, let me test it out. Oh, wait, I think I'm doing something wrong. I'm being taken to an error page. Uh, how can I find out what's going on? That's where Cloud Monitoring comes to the rescue. Everything that happens within this service is logged in Cloud Monitoring, including errors. You can see the logs of our service from the Cloud Monitoring Powered Logs tab. I think this is showing a little too much info, though. If I head to the Metrics tab, I can see the latest errors filtering out all the other noise. Let's take a look. Hmm, looks like uh, an error, uh, a value error was triggered on line 20. Ah, I didn't account for submitting an empty string. Let's fix that, build, and deploy one more time. Ah, that should do the trick. Awesome, looks like it's now working. Let me see how much this wine is going to cost me. Oh, I think I need to take some money out of my savings account. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sure it'll be worth it, though. But anyways, thanks. I can't wait to share this service with my friends. I think it'll come in handy. If you want to check out the code for this video, look in the description below. Until next time.